What's going on YouTube? It's Sir Games a lot, and today what I wanted to do is make a video without my webcam uh, to start with, and as well to show my PlayStation ID. Uh, I know my username is Sir Games a lot here on YouTube, but my PlayStation Network ID is RossBoss815, and uh, this is just a video to let you guys know that this is my PSN name, and if you guys would like to add me and play with me. Here is where you can add me and play with me, and let's get into the video. Alright guys, after waiting a long and horrible wait, since the matchmaking in this game seems to be a little on the shitty side, um, we're finally in a game here guys, and uh, I'm gonna about to figure out what gun I'm going to use, then we're about to tear some shit up if you know what I mean. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your games a lot. We're finally back in a game, and I am playing live for those of you wondering. And for those of you wondering why I'm not using my webcam, it's just because I didn't really feel like we using my webcam in this video. But anyways, um, today, for those of you guys that don't already know, Call of Duty announced World League. And for those of you guys that don't know what World League is, World League is basically just a championship slash tournament type thing that Call of Duty is doing. And it's basically the best way to do it. Uh, to explain this real simply is it's exactly what MLG did except they're doing it themselves with a bigger prize pool and it seems that they're going to be giving uh, more chances for people that aren't as good as the pros and stuff like that so this is just going to be a shorter video talking about that and what I think about it and stuff like that honestly I think that um, the World League is going to be a huge advancement hopefully to this is a try for them to save their game, it seems to me. This is a try for them to save their game, as well as hopefully earn themselves some more money. But it is in the best interest, uh, interest of the community as well, which is nice. It's not just a only beneficial to them, for them type of thing. It seems, as of now, it seems that way. But we'll see. Ooh, get wrecked. We have the lead. That's the shit I don't like. I noticed in this game I've been playing with a lot of the same people, similar names to people I've played with, like, you know, yesterday and the day before type of thing. But, um, not to get off topic. I would say that the World League, Call of Duty World League, is going to be an improvement upon how it was ran by MLG and COD Champs and all that all that stuff that would go down. I think that now that Activision, the owners of the game are going to be making the tournaments and prize pools and stuff like that, that it will be better, in my opinion, that's just my opinion, as usual. I don't want to say stuff that's for, you know, oh yeah, it's for sure going to be better than saying suck ass, you know. But, um, yeah guys, that's just basically my opinion. Since we've talked about that for a while, I basically told you everything I would want to tell you about that. I did want to talk about the fact, and this is three years away, don't get me wrong, Sledgehammer's next Call of Duty. The fact that we could be seeing an AW2, uh, a, an Advanced Warfare 2 for our Call of Duty in the year 2018. And, um... No, is it 2007? No, I think it's it's 17. In 2017, we could be seeing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare 2. And actually, I'm kind of excited. I kind of like this game. I could definitely see them making improving upon it, making it not as um not as fast. Like a happy medium between Black Ops 3 and AW1 would be sweet. Although this right here is pretty fun. It's just too much at certain times. You can't freaking shoot at people. Like, you can't. Certain things in this game were great, and certain things were not as good. And uh, overall, I'll give this game probably a 7. 7 to an 8. Eh, 7 and a half. I'll give it a 7 and a half. But, uh, yeah, guys. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty excited for Black Ops 3, but I'm already thinking about even the next Call of Duty. Now that we have three studios. Like, it's interesting to see who 
or how, what games are going to be coming out now. Dude, I hate that shotgun, dude. It's ridiculous. Oh god, dude, that's what I'm saying. That guy was able to kill me with that shotgun from so far away. And it's a freaking uh, auto shot. This is the type of stuff that I don't really like about a minute's for her. It's this right here. There's a lot of deaths in this game that don't make 100% sense just because the movement. Damn it. Like I said though, overall I'd give this game like a seven and a half out of ten. I felt like they degraded certain things in the game, meaning they're making them not worth it. Like once again in this game, to me, I felt it not not needed to run a secondary. Black Ops 3 is bringing back the use of secondary guns and other things like that that were taken out <laughs> damn it brah but yeah guys, we're getting to the end of this gameplay because we are about to score our last three to four kills and um I'd like to be the last kill king. Not like that, but get the last kill. No! What if I stole that kill? But yeah guys, this is just a brief talk about some of the new Call of Duty stuff as well as the possibilities of Advanced Warfare 2 and stuff like that. What is this the SVO? I also like how they real quick, I also like how they add new guns in this game over time and the supply i mean there's much th more stuff to go into we can cover that in a later video but as always guys thank you very much for watching this video and if you'd like to see some more of my videos subscribe and if you guys would like to like this video i'd appreciate it very much i'll see you guys in the next video that i create and don't forget to leave a comment peace